What's going on, jammers? It's me again, Hakeem. <laughs> okay, this is going to be my third and please God final explanation of how to import and export files out of Music Maker Jam. So, of course, what you're going to want to do first is open Music Maker Jam. I know it sounds crazy, but just trust me. <laughs> okay. Come on, Music Maker Jam. Don't let me down, baby. <laughs> Once you finally loaded Music Maker Jam, if it wants to load for you, let's go out and go to home. Okay. First, I'm going to show you guys how to export a project. If you're looking uh, down here, um, my music, let's go into my music and let's go into projects. Okay, so um, in order to export a file, just go to the file that you're looking for. Um, let's just do, let's. Yeah, let's just do this one. I keep in mind. Okay, so over here, you're going to notice that you've got these three buttons next to the song that we're looking at. So you hit on those three little dots, you go to export project, tap on export project. You see this down here? That's um, actually showing you where the project is going to be exported to. So then we're going to go up here this corner over here you see where my dot is and just hit that that's going to export the project for you okay export project was exported properly okay so then depending on what um version you're using on your android device because this only works for android devices um your files might be somewhere else see down here in the corner this is where my files actually are so it's easy for me to find mine um wherever your files are um, that's where you're going to uh, have to go into. And so you want to go into your device's music file. And so see, this is what I just got finished exporting. Um, and then if you just hold down on this, it'll be highlighted and you go over here so you can share it. Bam. And go to mail. You have to mail this project file, mail that project file. You just got finished exporting. And then, you know, just type in a person's email here, hit send. You're done. You've sent them the project file. And so you're like, okay, Akeem, awesome. That's how you send a project file. How do I actually receive a project file? Great question. So if somebody has sent you a project file, go into your mail. And we're just going to, you know, do the first. Uh... Okay, so go into your mail. Look. Right here. This is the project file. It should say, you see where it says MMJ file at the end all files that you are sending and receiving have to say MMJ project file if it's not an MMJ project file like if it's a OGG file it's not going to work it has to be an MMJ project file so we're just going to download that click on the download button okay so it's downloading and so now we want to go back close that we want to go back into our devices files and so now that we've downloaded that you're going to want to go into your download folder. So go into your download folder and it should be the very first thing right at the front because you just got finished downloading. So now there are two ways that you can do this. If you are very fortunate, you're running a um, Android operating system where you can just tap on this and it will instantly open up inside of Music Maker Jam. It's telling me that that project file already exists so I can't open it. Which I'm actually glad it said that because that reminds me. When you are sending and receiving multiple project files, make sure that you change the name of your project file. Because if you are not changing the name of the project file before you send it back to the person you're collaborating with, they'll get that error message like I just got saying that that, that file is already in there. Now, if that happens to you, what you can do is just um, go back to that project file which for me is um, Hakeem and Monzi and you can actually go back to those three dots 
and go to remove project that will take this project out of um, your music maker jam so you're able to you know import the one that was sent back to you the easier thing to do is just to change the name before you send it um, okay so if you're fortunate you can open it up like that bam it'll pop up inside of your music maker jam if for whatever reason it doesn't pop up and it doesn't give you that message we just seen go to styles and it'll actually show you in your styles whatever um, whatever music packs that you are missing that you need to open up that project file which is covered in one of my previous videos but if you're not fortunate enough to have that just open up for you like that you're gonna to have to go home then you're gonna to have to go to your settings so we go into settings and come down here and see where it says I see it's an I saw the part you see where it says import project okay click on in, uh, import project now see my over here on the uh, left hand side it's already been changed to look inside of my download folder but if yours is set up looking somewhere else you're gonna have to click on this over here and then you can actually choose whatever folder you're actually looking into of course since you downloaded out of your email the project file is going to be inside of your download so just found your download folder and as you see I've got all of these things inside of my download folder because I've done over 30 collabs I'm almost at 40 collaborations right now so then you just um, uh, click on what you're looking for and no we're not saving any changes and that bam they'll import inside of music maker jam and you're ready to go um that pretty much covers everything like i said depending on um what type of device you have your folders are going to be located in different places but uh if you know your device well enough you know where your folders are placed and um that's it boys and girls ladies and gentlemen um I don't think I'm skipping anything. God, I hope I'm not because <laughs> I'll really like for this to be my last collab. But um Unbreakable Love. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. It's just that easy to import and export. Um I hope I wasn't going too fast for you guys. Uh just in case I was, we're going to go back over that last part. Because the importing of the project files is usually where people have problems. So go home. We're already home. But go home on your Music Maker Jam. Go into your settings. Go to import project. If you do not immediately see, you know, look over here. It should say something like storage emulated, then zero, and then download. Download has to be the folder that you're looking into because you just got finished downloading your file from out of um, your email. So you have to be looking inside of the download folder. Um, and remember, the most important thing that people don't get, it has to be a Music Maker Jam project file. You have to send the Music Maker Jam project file. You have to receive the Music Maker Jam project file. And, you know, once you're actually, uh, you click on these two dots up over here, if you guys missed that click before, and go into, you know, just find your download folder. Again, depending on your device, your download folder might be located somewhere else. But just find your download folder, click on that, and it'll immediately, you know, bring up the project file that you're looking for. And you click on it. And um, I know I already have all the packs for all of these, but look at my previous how-to video because um, sometimes, you know, you'll get a project for somebody. If you do not have all of the same style packs, then you won't be able to open up that um, project until you actually uh, buy the, um, the um, sound packs that you need. So I really hope that this helps, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up on Keek. Uh, I do not check <laughs> my YouTube notifications that much. I need to get better at it, but you guys have no idea how incredibly busy I am. <laughs> All right, jammers, I really hope that you um, enjoyed this video. I think I hope that is fully awesome and helps you guys out a lot. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month in a fantastic year.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.